the two trees behind me are a new family, a new genus. The family is Anoniaceae, genus is Asimina, specific epithet is Triloba. This is pawpaw, sometimes also referred to as custard apple. In this class, we'll use pawpaw. Pawpaw is typically a single stem, very small stature tree. Uh, it branches a fairly narrow crown. We're going to take a closer look at some of the other identifying features. The flowers are really cool. They hang down a little bit so that they actually, to see the full flower, you have to look at it from underneath. And it's this purplish maroon color. This is what it would look like. The fruits can be eaten just by taking it, cutting through the outer layer and scooping it out with a spoon like you would a custard. People have also made various breads and things of that nature with the fruit of the pawpaw. Here you can see the pawpaw leaf. It's fairly good size and they can vary a bit, sun versus shade. It is a simple leaf with a, an entire margin, wider sort of club at the about three quarters of the way up and then narrows down as it attaches to the twig. Here in the twig you can see it is alternately arranged. If you look closely at the terminal bud, you'll see that it is a naked bud, but the side or lateral buds do have a slight scale. The coloring of the twig changes as you move from the newest growth seamlessly into the older growth, the newest growth having a green and brown in color and the newest, or the older growth, excuse me, having this gray in color. The gray in color of the older growth. And here where you see the line where my thumb is between the brown and the gray, that's the result of having no bud scales from a naked terminal bud. So there's no typical scaling mark that would denote year over year growth. Here you can see the pawpaw fruit just starting. And the fruit is edible. Some people really, really love the fruit and others uh, don't like it as much. The fruit has an interesting texture. It's a texture sort of of custard. And the taste I would describe as somewhere between a mango and a banana. If a mango and a banana had a kid, it would taste like the pawpaw. When the fruit fully ripens, it'll be a little bit bigger than this, and the outer shell starts to turn brown in color. If we look at the bark, it's a gray bark, has a little bit of a texture to it, uh, but not incredibly furrowed or deeply furrowed, just sort of little bumps, warts almost looking to it. And then as you come down to the oldest part of the stem, you can see it starts to divide a little bit in little fissures, but it will not become incredibly textured like some of the other trees. Here's what these look like. There are actually two trees here, two separate pawpaw, so not incredibly tall. And the stems, as you can see, are not very large. Good size for pawpaw, but in terms of tree, not a particularly large trunk.